Hello students, today we're gonna read the poem Sita by Dor Dutt Two happy children in a darkened room What do they gaze on with wide open eyes A dense, dense forest when no sunbeam price And in its center of clear spot there bloom gigantic flowers on creepers that embrace tall trees there in a quiet lucid lake the white swans glide there wiring from the brake the peacock springs their herd of wild deer race their patches gleam with yellow waving rain their blue smoke from strange shelters rises light there dwells in peace the poet and co -write. But who is this fair lady? Not in vain. She weeps for love. At every tear she sheds, tears from three pairs of young eyes fall amain. And bowed in sorrow are the three young heads. It is an old, old story and a lay which has evoked, said Sita, from the past. Spy a mother song, tis hushed at last and melts the picture from their sight away, yet shall they dream of it until the day. When shall the children by their mother's side gather on me, a thirst at even tight. Okay, now let's talk about the summary of the Sita. Sita is the final ballad published in the ancient ballads and legends of Hindustan. It narrates the popular story of Rama and Sita dealing with her second exile. This poem is an example of nostalgia where Dorota reflects on her childhood days when she along with her sister and brother would listen to the sad story of Sita. The scene is the hermitage of Valmiki where Sita is living after her exile. The place is densely covered with gigantic creepers, flowers and trees. It is difficult for the sunlight to enter the quiet place where white swans glide on a placid little lake, rotating their wings. Peacock dance and deer on a mist yellow grain that can be seen from a distance. Blue smoke rises from the skirt shelters near the dwelling of Valmiki, the poet and Karite, and such serene surroundings, the fairy lady is weeping overcome by the misery of living away from her home sita represents a picture of loveliness devotion chastity nobility and of a woman who is ever tolerant and patient as the mother narrates the sad story of sita the three children are so moved that they also start crying the poet is then brought back to her present state where she is all alone as her brother and sister are no longer alive. Although the tale is melancholic, she remembers the happy times when all three sat together under the protection of their mother and listened to bedtime stories. The poet becomes nostalgic and longs for those days to come back so that she can relive those moments of happiness spent with her family members.